Hello everybody, uh, just for you Mark and Kev, as requested, Wooly Cardigan, but you can only do this until it becomes summer, then it's not going to happen because it'll be too hot to wear a Wooly Cardigan. Anyway, uh, this is just a short video, uh, Mark Ponting, my partner with birds, was meant to be coming up, obviously with lockdown he can't come up. So he's been sending me short videos um, to put together, just to show you some of the birds that he will be keeping down there um, and breeding and obviously Mark is really really good with the green finches, quite well known with the green finches so I'll um, let you have a look at some of them, um, any questions feel free to message me, what I'll do is start to read them out because obviously i getting quite a few messages about certain things so on the next video um, I will start reading your messages out um, Obviously, then it's for everyone else to listen to, rather than just obviously me direct messaging them back. Um, also, um, Friday, Saturday, um, time depending, um, we'll will be uploading a, a video on green finches, um, just to obviously run through the pairings that uh, I'll be running this year um, through cox hens, current year cox, current year hens, adult hens, adult cox, um, pairing them. Obviously, um, whether it be lime breeding um, or just uh, fresh breeding pairs, from, obviously that's not lines with no lines, um, no blood that we've got in. But obviously that'll be on Friday. The other thing we will be doing is A to Z on bird keeping. So maybe once a week, just a short video um, in comparison to obviously the, the, the feature ones we'll be doing. So A, B, C, throw on to Z, um, or those, any type, uh, anything to do with birds. Uh, so if you have any suggestions on the letter A, um, get in touch with me by messenger and obviously we might try and use your suggestion for that letter. Uh, but yes, um, thanks for watching and enjoy the video from Mark. Hello everyone, this is just, uh, a little video of a few green things I just caught up in the last five minutes out from the flights, just have a quick look. This is uh, going to be a part of our breeding, mini Shane's breeding programme for next year. This is a hen I bred either last year or the year before. Um, this is just a couple, obviously Shane keeps most of the birds now, the green as it is us, but I keep more of a collection here now, varied species of soft bills, x bills, ball finches, which I'll show you in some other videos, but this is just a few green finches to get along with at the moment. This is a nice floating hen. Literally, they're steady, but they've only literally just been caught up. This is a show bird. This is a, this bird is um, an F2 hybrid, which I bred from a green finch hen to a green finch, no, to an x bill green finch male hybrid. I uh, one chick and I hand raised it, and this is a bird. A bit weird, looks a bit like a green finch, but <laughs> that's because it's 75% green finch. But um, yeah, I was very happy to breed that. Getting one of our stud males ready for next year. So we want to keep them now, lovely fair one, and, and just nice and trim and fit. Like, so like Shane said in his previous videos, these are just transformed in a, in a few weeks we wanted to put them in show condition, but as no shows, these are our green stock really. We just had a bath, unfortunately. Still, lovely colour and fair off. Not the biggest build, but... Really a load, a load of really good, this is my main stud bread for the last two years. Really loads of quality birds. Another young hen. We were saying bread last year. She's not been in a, she's not been in a cage before. But um, yeah, we've got to get the quality about her. She's from a very good line, so hopefully good things for her. I've not bred from her yet. So, uh, hopefully, the 
a few that I've caught up, limited with cages now. But I should catch a few more up and put them on some more goods. So I'll probably show you some X-Bills next. And then before I start this video, I'd um, just like to say all the birds that I've been catching up lately to, to show you on Shane's YouTube channel, they're literally straight out the flights, and I should show you some of my flights in a minute. So they're literally straight from outside, not like some people say, the old case caught fresh out of a flight, but I've only been in the cage for three months. He's literally been outside and not been touched. Anyway, these are some uh, common cross bills that um, we've bred this year that we're looking to go forward with. As I say again, it's the first, it's the first time uh, in cages. It's a little bit head twirling, but it's really natural. These are some of our cross bills that we will be breeding with. Lovely bird to keep, absolutely so easy. 90% diet of just hard seed, I'll give them a good greenie mix. Plus, um, I buy. What do I buy? <laughs> I buy pine nuts from Tesco's or Asda that humans can eat and I give them that and they absolutely love them. So I do add a few bits to the mix. Plenty of pine branches, pine cones, etc. They will chew your flights for bits. But what an enjoyable bird, lovely little song. Tame. Not like green things is wild and other birds. Like I say these are first time in cages, yeah they're doing a bit of twirling but Generally, they're good, good. So, um, there we have the cross bills that we're going to go for with this year. All about the dirty cage in the bottom, I've not had no seed on there, nothing. You're only in here just for this short video. So, yeah, we've got a few more videos coming up on Sainz uh, YouTube channel. I hope you, uh, you like to enjoy it because uh, it's a very good channel. and. Let's all get behind him, subscribe. And uh, his products are just amazing. You won't get better for the money. He's, he's put it down to basically selling the customers to what he gets for that. And you can't say fairer than that. So he's uh, doing a good thing for our hobby that we all love. So, well done, Shane. Well, there's another little bit of some birds there. I should get onto the soft bills and some more greenies next. Goodbye. Good luck. All right, this is a quick video. It's too young, no more. Ahead of the cock bird I've bred this year. They're all carrying grizzle. I said that was a white grizzle. First time ever in a cage again. A bit wild, but I'm only doing this for a quick video just to show you. Um, female song fresh cinnamon. So again, this paired with this white well, satin. It. Fortunately, I've not got a cage, which so looks huge in there. But that's the pair enough. And now, one tip from the mouth, so unfortunately, it died due to cold. But I'm hoping for um, some nice birds off on this year. But oh, yeah, I've bred four blackbirds last year. These are two of them, the other two. Uh, a silver and blue, or double pastel silver, a double pack of silver and a, and a blue, all carrying a grizzled jean. 
So if you put these back in the floats, as soon as they roll to clean them up. A couple more words that me and Shane are breathing with. This year, fingers crossed. Just a quick rid of a few Rob Fib Bullies that I bred last year. Let me and Shane go forward this year. These are all young birds. Literally, never been man will be four first time in a, in a cage or anything. And they've lived out in floats since they've been born. It's amazing how why they just settle, settle straight down. It's such a lovely bird from pollinators, I think. But each their own. That's a few of the, that's a few of the birds we've got. Caught up to show you. Got a few more I'll put up later as I go through the floats, cleaning out with the moment. So as I'm cleaning them, catching a few birds up and bringing them in for videos to go on our Shane's YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. It's a great channel, there'll be a few good videos going up from me and Shane over the next coming months.